Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Warboss Squee, and we are playing Pillars of Eternity. I've actually uploaded anything for a while because I've been sick. And this is my chance to finally get back in the saddle, so to speak. I've made a couple of changes. <coughs> uh, first of all, where is it? Uh, I gave Edder the Shamer Glory Sword because it's going to give him a bonus, or people around him a bonus when they're hitting the same target. That might help quite a bit. Durant has a fine sword to go with his shield and his Arquebus, since he has the uh, bonus for that. Still not sure if keeping him with the heavy armor is the best decision. I don't know. And I gave Kana Durance's staff that's been upgraded to fine. That way he can stand behind the tank and still hit a target. Hopefully keeping himself out, as, out of as much trouble as he's been getting into. He also has a uh, fine spear and a shield if things get crazy. And the thing that I just thought was interesting is that if you look at this real quick, our uh, dialogue tab, Edder has a bit of a thing for Aloth's uh, headmate, for lack of a better term. I guess she f he finds her to be rather interesting. That's what we need to go. But today mm -hmm. we're going to be heading down to the Salty Mast because I want to get that uh, quest out of the way. So we don't have anything sitting here. If we do that, we'll be heading down to uh, Heritage Hill so we can see if maybe we can get some progress made in that end. Now, the White March is open to us, and I actually tried that and got brutally murdered by waves and waves of ogres. What the hell? I guess this is a thing. This man's fancy clothes are ripped and blood flows from a fresh cut above his eye. He tries to push himself up, but his arm is shaking. He winces painfully. Help him up. Thank you. He gasps as he rises my head. What happened? He carefully dabs his bloody nose with a silk handkerchief. I was just on my way to the club. He slowly stretches out one leg, grimacing at a scraped knee. It's a rough part of town, but the rabble's never been violent. Even a night with equality isn't worth this. He limps away. Interesting. Are we usually in a position to beat up the noble nobility? I wonder if I could actually find those guys real quick. That'd be interesting. Eh. Probably not, but it would be interesting if we could. There's a lot to this area. Good lord, how far does this progress? Quite a bit. I'm not going to be spending all this time running around here. Let's just get over here real quick. Now, I do need to apologize. I did not realize that the uh, video that I uploaded for... Uh, the undead march through Heritage Hill was two hours long. I also promise I'm going to spend a little bit more time uh, keeping it zoomed in as opposed to zoomed out because this is a lot more entertaining to watch than this, personally. I also will be pausing uh, intermittently to deal with cholera rises. My voice still isn't the same. Problem is we've been having very, very... And while I don't suffer from any allergies, that much wind, well, it does bad things to me. Nothing like this in Gilded Vale. Just while a ruin of the milkmaid. She knew what she was doing. Ah. Over fried cod, watered ale, and prostitution. A bastion of dear wooden culture. <laughs> okay. Now to find a home for my other staff. Good lord, Durrance. I think that was creepier than what anybody else actually had to say. You're probably the guy we want to talk to. How do you do? The Amoa woman watches you suspiciously. One hand is tense at her side, but as you approach, she relaxes and gives you a friendly, if weary smile. Don't see many outfit like you who aren't worth looking for trouble. You aren't looking for trouble, are you? Is there someone here named Sorel? You must be new in town, dearie. She's only the most sought-after girl in the district. You must spend time with her. Just to ask. She's a thousand for the night, but she's worth every pan, or so they tell me. Fancy a go? She snuggles you in the ribs. Best money you can spend in the gift. Uh, let's do it. You'll find her quarters upstairs. She lays a large hand on your shoulder. Don't mind the burly fellows at her door. They're just there to make sure everyone has a good time. Uh, I'm gonna. This is gonna cost me, isn't it? A lot of guards in this here brothel. You know, I wonder if it was really necessary to spend that money. Welcome. I mean, a loss. How can I afford time with such a magnificent creature? What are you talking about? 
Talking about your magnificent eyes and perfect lips, truly it should be a crime for you to ever close them. What can Oracle do to you? You tell me. Some things must be experienced to believe how much. Nah. Okay, he's just for hire, I guess. Yeah, wait over here. A red rimmed and unfocused, he's very drunk. Why don't you take one of them stools over there? You're also me to go. Not with a wife and a state, my boy, my I I wonder if his uh son suffers from the uh the Hollowborn thing. An Good older day, drunkard. Stranger. Come for a story? I told all the best stories. It's my club anyway. What club? Club for a fine and prestigious gentleman. He brought your shoulder. Wait, if you know about the club, you must be. He heaves, catching at his chest after several precarious seconds that you recovered. Where was I? Oh, you must hear about the ring. The ring, he shoves it in your hand. To take that into the lounge. They don't let just anyone in, you know. It's the most exclusive club in Defiance Bay. Whatever you do, don't tell them you're new or... Okay. Maybe we'll go do this first, since I think we're on the same floor. In here, maybe? No, this is just a bunch of stuff. Books I haven't been reading. Anyway, what does this ring do? Huh. Huh. Well, I don't know what to do with it, so... Alright, well... Just sit upstairs and hope that, uh, thousand copper was coined well spent. i be upset if it's not. Traveler. The dwarf and maid ra raises the hem of her skirt to show you a well-muscled well leg. You've never experienced anything like this before, trust me. <laughs> what do you mean? Why, I could climb a tall thing like you all night. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Quali? Hail and well met. Tell me about yourself. You know, Defiance Bay from the frozen lands of the southern end of the world. Few of my people venture this far north. Don't know how to warm a cold night like we do. No, thank you. Well we met, go. friend. Powder almost hides a circle under her eyes, and rogue dust dusts her two prominent cheekbones. Despite it all, Cyril is beautiful. She favors you with a smile she must have practiced and perfected. Hello, oh, stranger. Let me make you more comfortable. You're on a quest to restore a Glen Fathen clan. <laughs> she takes in your attire. So you like role playing? I can work with that. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend Thirstwind sent me. He needs that medallion. So do I. Sarah raises her chin. I've offered him half his. Mo I've offered him his half of the money, and he refused it. She crosses her arms and paces in a slow circle around you. I'm sure, he told you all about his broken clan. Did he also tell you that I got him where he is today. I really, I'm sorry for him, but I'll bet you anything he lives better now than he did in Irglafen. I worked a long time for a way out, and I'm not giving up just because Thirstwind suddenly got a little nostalgic. Uh, I could threaten her if I had enough might, but I don't. How about I buy it from you? She laughs. It's worth 6,000 pounds. If you got that kind of coin, I'm glad to help you spend it. Eh, screw it. Why not? She goggles at the bag of coin in her hands. Looks like she for a moment before we reach into her bodice. She was a carved Audra medallion by a cord and gives it to you. <laughs> it could be in a cottage at Brackenberry tomorrow. She looks hopefully at the medallion in your hands. I'm not going to tell you your business, but if you do mean to give us the first one, it would mean a lot to me too. What he finds everything he's looking for back home. She pulls a moonstone ring off her finger. Please take this. It's always given me an edge with people around here, but I'm done with that part of my life. I I could take the option. I've already paid my time for that to use it, but we're not going to. That would just be weird. Plus two resolve. Nice. Uh, 
Remind me what Resolve does. It's been a while. Plus 15. Oh, yeah, that's definitely going on somebody. Let's see, it's good for plus five deflection. Let's put on you since I need you to stay alive. And what's this right here? Unlock with a club. Yeah, nice ring. You may enter. Okay. Person a club for refined procedures, gentlemen, sir. Vincent Dweiler. Man, looks down as known to you. So you're a member, I see. Are you here for the exclusive club equipment? Show me your stock. Been collecting the finest equipment for over a decade. I guarantee you won't find a superior collection. I'm going to regret spending that 6000 aren't I? Yeah, I regret it already. I absolutely regret it, because goddamn. Uh, nice poleaxe. Looks like that's a great sword, yeah. The Tempris. Fine corrosive lash and overbearing. Crates remorse. Exceptional. Exceptional. Are that's no, those are fine. Accurate, fine, and speed plus speed and rent. What the hell? Plus of accuracy, plus four accuracy, plus fifteen damage, plus twenty attack speed and damage reduction bypass. Nice. Slow pistol. That one's also fine and has damage reduction. Evil Black Erebus. I think that's a lot of damage. The Maverick. The Gilt Blade of Lorne. Uh, that's honestly all right. I mean, it's just a fine great sword. I don't know if you would want to pay that much money for it. Paladini's long sword of Inclas. Oh, I can't even say all that. Inclani. That's pretty looking. That's an exceptional sword. Does fourteen twenty one plus eight accuracy, plus thirty percent damage. Another exceptional sword. Sword of Pricks, another exceptional uh, unique spear. Exceptional spear. Oh, here's a helmet. Plus 10% critical bonus. That's nice. Plus one resolve. There's some good stuff in here. I just can't afford a single bit of it, unfortunately. Oh, well. It's a shame. But I still think of it as money well spent. You know, honestly, with the exception of hiring uh, stuff from my keep, I do have the mission that I need 1,000 coin for, but I've been getting enough loot that a couple of missions I'll have it done. Not really that super, super worried about it. There's the door. I was like, where's the door to this damn place? This would be an excellent time for some well-dressed idiots to decide to try to mug me. That animancy has had its failures. Bow reach among them. But does that warrant attacks on innocent practitioners? Superstitious kith have spilled their share of blood. That's no comparison. Animancers have the advantage of education, and with that comes authority and responsibility. I have to say, it's wonderful to have someone to debate with. You'd think they'd be more welcoming of it at the law college. Or we could enjoy a glass of wine and a comfortable silence. I love the interplay between these characters. Who are you? Hooded figure leans against the wall. When he knows you draw near, he stands upright and raises his hand to halt your approach. If you know the words, speak them, and we can do business. If not, then we are done speaking. Ichnibolin. I don't know why I know that. I apologize for the unpleasantries. I am current. The Midnight Merchant, as some would say. I deal in sensitive commodities. Precautions must be taken. Now let's do business. I don't know why I know that. I'm sure there's a very good reason why I know that, but I couldn't tell you what it is right now. Okay. He sells, like, black market gems, I guess. 
Again, something that would be useful to have money for. But I don't, because I'm dumb. And honestly, I'm just too nice for my own good. Now, if memory serves, the uh, Glenfath and Elf that we need to talk to is in uh, Brackenberry. So let's go over there real quick and go talk to him. So in the brief run across Brackenberry district, which I decided to leave out for, you know, times, it's all I would be doing is me running across the district and then going through the load screen. Durance also apparently wants a piece of the woman that lives inside of Alos' head. So Durance and Edder find her fascinating. Do not care that it's attached to, well, Aloth. Hail and well met. There you have it. Did you get the medallion? Yes. Thurston's eyes are as wide and round as the artifact in his hands. You give him my people a gift we couldn't possibly repay. I'll do the best I can, though. He shoves a bag of coin in your hands. This is everything I have. Take it, please. Stolen. Lost the item. The stolen to Gwythin Medallion. Thank you. Always been an honored guest amongst the Shattering Spear. Farewell. All right. How much money did I get for that? 2,000. Yeah. Could have at least given me half, you bastard. Alright, now that that's out of the way, we've done our good deed. Let's see. We have the man who waits, a place of misery and madness. I don't know where that could be. Undying Heritage is the thing in Heritage Bay, which I think is where we should be heading. And we also need to go out to a village called Deerford. So, since we're here, let's do... Uh, heritage first. Should be fun. Yeah, heritage Hill. Alright, have a quest update. Dang Heritage. I'm guessing that we were supposed to come here after we dealt with the other part. It's the only thing that comes to mind off the top of my head. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about uh, playing nice, since, quite frankly, we've killed everything in here already. Uh, this way, I think? Yeah. Actually, no, we should go up here and talk to this chick first. Because she's supposed to know something, the undead woman. I think it's this house right over here. Yeah, don't quote me on that, though. Let's see if she still wants to talk after I got rid of her food supply. You return. What if you come seeking this time? I saw you in a vision. There's something you need to do for me. <laughs> Believe me, I've heard that line before. It's rude to stare, you know. <laughs> Don't worry. I've no mind to start anything with you. After all, I've stayed in such good shape by choosing my meals carefully. A survivor, by the grace of my own careful preparations, when I heard the claws scrabbling at the door outside, I took care of matters myself. And since then, I've been careful to keep myself fresh and fed. Okay. That's kind of annoying then. It just says I need to talk to her, but then she doesn't want to cooperate at all, so... Uh, maybe we'll... Nice and slow find something hidden in here that we didn't see before maybe I'm doubting it but I don't know why it was such a big deal to come talk to her unless it was just to let those people go well we did get the information that it was a uh, powerful animancy that caused this whole problem but I mean I don't I don't know that seems a little ham handed to be honest because you know, I don't see why we wouldn't have known that that was a problem to begin with. And they went through a lot of trouble to point us towards her. When just saying that it was the tower that we need to focus on would have been sufficient, in my opinion. I'm just going to 
fast move through here since I'm going to take care of all this. Alright, speak the words you learned from the London Key Acolyte. Your rumbles and clanks from hidden tumblers as the door unlocks. I do not know if I'm ready for this. Yeah, it doesn't look like I am. Looks like we need to get to the top of the tower. Oh, there's a whole bunch of you little fellas. Alright, Durance, I need you to get stuck in there, buddy. And do that. You know, I'll get that skeletal wizard for me, please. I thought I clicked on the wolf. Did I not? No, I did. Let's see. What are you guys doing? Five castings at level five spells. That's kind of odd. Chill fog. I, I need to fix this spell book stuff. Let's do that. All right, he's toast. Time for you to switch weapons. Hi. There's that one. Pile on this guy right here. Not really too worried about summoning anybody right now, to be honest. There. Simple enough. Only cost me one spell, and well, they're not nothing I really need to worry about. Just tell me that all went into stash. Good. Well, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of hoping for another Grimoire. Mm -hmm. We've got crumpled pages from Aldhelm's journal. Day seven. A week of studying. We're still none, none the wiser about this device. Trindig remains optimistic. I don't know what I'll do without a spirit. And Trindig's letter. Dearest mother and father, you're pleased to hear that I've learned so much, uh, learned much already since coming to the city. Many incredible runes nearby, and Master Gag has allowed me to accompany him on a number of expeditions. I'm writing to you from inside an ancient Anguithan tower. There's a local entire district built up around it, but the locals have mostly left the tower untouched. They let us set up temporary living quarters here, so our work can continue uninterrupted. It is an unsettling place at times, but Master Greg has been a constant comfort. He is quick to remind me that the things that we learn from this tower may one day help us find a cure to Wadwin's legacy. Better get some rest now. Master Greg likes to get an early start to the day all my love trending. It's actually kind of cool. Wait a minute. Okay. Essence shimmers and pulsates with the strangest device. So, I guess there's going to be a lot of undead to deal with in here. Let's... Another skeletal wizard. Let's, go. Let's get everybody in place first. Is that within range? There we go. Now we're in range. There's the wolf. Or fox, I should say. Oh, you're way over here. Uh, Durance's weapon was ineffective. So it doesn't like Pierce or that, so. This is crush damage, right? Yeah, I don't know. Bypasses damage reduction, though. That should probably help. Can't take a hit out of that. Edder's weapon isn't helping either. 
That's fine. That's why I carried it back. I set it up so he had a backup. Okay, are you guys not able to get in there or what? No good. There we go. Yeah. You guys get in there, get that guy, please. No, he's not working properly. Yeah. Can't tell. I'd rather not start burning resources right now if I don't have to. I got that scroll. That should do the trick. Did you get that guy for me? That was good. Alright, Ruth is now having trouble as well. Uh, which one? Let's just switch to the great so see that helps it all. Okay, wizard's toast. Okay, so these things don't like pure damage at all, or they're really, really good with it either way. So crushing weapons would be the way to go. Like, for instance, a poleaxe. So, let's... I think I have a fine poleaxe, don't I? Yes, I do. Just hold on to that for a moment. That does slash and crush damage. So I'll see if that works a little bit better for us. Right. Scale armor and some money. Patting the scratchy c old cover thickens the air with dust and was used as bed in weeks. I believe it. Oh, that's not. Okay, I was going to say it looked like fast mode was active or something the way they were moving. Skeleton Ranger and a Revenant. Durance, I need you to start closing in, bud. I'll let Margaret's fire bless. There's a lesson to be taught. I'll let Margaret's. Yeah. Let's go. That's it. These guys aren't so tough. Zombies themselves. Eh, not that big worry. The cutest cat. <laughs> We've got a potion of power. Ooh, I wanted one of those. Plus 25 attack speed, plus 30 endurance. Nice. And we've got Altem's journal. Day two, we've measured our, completed our measurements from the machine. Thank the tricks of youthful agility. Further examination recovered is required to discover how it's intended use. Huh. Bow and some bones. Nothing of importance sure. there. Make sure we're not missing anything here. Whoever slept in that bed last made it neatly. Well, good for them. Hello. Hello. Nope. There's a thing there. So I get for not being careful. Okay, guys, let's get information, please. The dozens and some gold pieces. Ah. Hey, you guys want to start coming this way? Be awesome if you would. Play it dark. Should be able to murder him in like no time flat. All right, something was immune. I saw that come up. Trying to be a little bit better about these things. I don't see it. Yeah. 
Sure, there's no real worry. No real reason to worry about it. Did they ever gonna start hitting him? I told y'all to. Come on. Six. I can't tell about some of these uh, resistances, but there we go. Kind of took a little bit of endurance hits, but it's not a really big deal. More vessel flesh. I still haven't found a use for that yet. Come on, big guys. Come to me. Oh, yeah. Positive night with that this was. Oh, it was a. Uh... Alright, no, he didn't uh, use a thing. Huh. Honestly, don't even know. You know. We are tearing these guys up, though, I'll tell you that much. Mm hmm. Works of Inguithin's a com comprehensive guide. Just a drawing of the structure, trying to make some sense out of it. More gold, always nice. How much money are we at right now? Uh, 4,000, so we've been making it back real quick. So I am glad that Originally I made the decision I did. A calm sea, which is not very quiet. <laughs> Ah, new scroll of Fireball, and another page of Aldhem's journal. Day 11. Finally got out of the tower to clear our heads. Beasts take the patrons. We'll finish the study on our own terms, our own time. Just as I said as much to Trintig, the sky came to life with stray lightning. I said it's a good omen, but the poor lad spooked. I only care if that's a good night's sleep. Yeah, I can see why he'd be a little bit nervous about that. Ah, a couple more revenants. Gentlemen. Hello. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, this is a lot better having uh, Connie use that staff. Ah. Let's go. Come here. Come here, little fella. Say, so you don't need to run around the guy. That's why I gave you a reach weapon, you giant bastard. Okay. Speaking of weapons, how is Aloth's weapon coming? Uh, about a third of the way there. We'll probably get the second uh, requirement before we get the first one out of that level. Silver and a folded page. Day 10. Patrons grow impatient with the lack of quantifiable results. They should drag themselves out of their mansions and spend a few nights here if they think it's so easy. I love this guy. And some more vessel flush. You know what? I'm on the trail. Ooh, sigil of the arcane. Plus one intellect, arcane dampener. What's that? Once per rest. Faux area effect, beneficial effects suspended. That's nice. Probably give that to. You know, I think I want to give that to Durance. Letter from Encantha. Aldhelm, I did, I did indeed receive your recent summons as well as the two that came before it. But waiting for you to present yourself on my doorstep so I can give you my answer in person, a firm and unwavering no. I won't help you. In fact, I roasted the idea of you and your team of glorified engineers sitting in that tower, sweating over the runes I've studied for years. Nothing gives me greater pleasure than knowing that my research, which you've long disparaged, is the missing piece of your mundane little puzzle. As you well know, it's knowledge I've always valued. I'm just on the corner. I encourage you to find me should you wish to rehash this conversation in person. Interesting. I 
Alright, gives him some more durations for his effects. And since he'll be in the thick of things, so to speak, that will also allow us to get that uh, little ability to knock out some beneficial spells as well. Now, I'm not expecting to find too many of our uh, hidden objects around here, but you never know. I would have at very least expected to find a trap at some point. Almost up to 5,000, so... Yeah, I've almost about made back the money I spent, so... And all in all, I'd say this is going pretty well. Ah, here we go, top of the tower. Still nothing. Confounded device. Pretty sure this gentleman's dead. Man hunches over the strange mechanism, his spine a sharp ridge rising from his arched back. He's buried clothes in filthy rags, and patches of skin you see are mottled green. Spoiled stench emanates from him. So intent on his work he doesn't notice you until your shadow falls on him. When he turns and sees you, he snarls and scuttles behind the adder pedestal. Only his bare teeth seem to have escaped decay. His eyes are yellowed and bloodshot, but they flicker with intelligence. He averts his gaze and holds a hand in front of his face. Shouldn't be here. What do you want? Tell me what happened here. That's what I'm trying to figure out. He smashes a fist into the Audra pillar. His hand makes a crunching noise but doesn't bleed. Forgive me. Forgive me. Research. We came to do research on the tower. Some commission from Gods, it hardly matters now. I have a copper skate for every fool animancer whose thirst for knowledge led to disaster. Well, I never would have ended up in Gilded Vale, that's for sure. Keep talking, Oddhelm. Something happened on our eleventh night. Lights in the sky and a static charge in the air. But we were so careful. We were staying in the chambers below. Trindig, my assistant, said he saw a robed figure lurking around the tower. Wore a mask. Carried knives at his sides. A trick of shadows, I told him. The next morning we felt strange. Like we hadn't eaten in weeks. So dazed that we didn't at first notice the blood around our beds the strange wounds that had appeared overnight. And the machine! This cursed spire! Dormant for two thousand years. Lifeless through hundreds of our experiments. And we wake that morning to find it spinning on its own! On its own! How can we stop what we couldn't start? As exciting as the prospect of a living machine may be, I suspect that, given mention of a machine and a mass figure both, there is another explanation. Yeah, this guy's causing all kinds of trouble. Years I've been doing this. Years. I know how these things work. But I, I don't know how this happened. Nowhere to go. That's the problem. Their souls are trapped here like flies in a jar. Clinging to rotting. Slow down. What does the machine have to do with souls? No time to slow down. But I, I can explain. Hold a magnet over iron splinters and they stick. Yes. Rub your hand over weir wool and the hair of your head will follow it. So it is with this machine. So the machine's for trapping souls? It has the power to manipulate souls. But why? For what? And how many others lie buried in the ruins of Air Glonfoth? No. Focus on this one. It's imprisoned our souls in our bodies. Cut the root between essence and flesh. Left a dwindling soul stuck in a shriveling husk. There was a stranger in the tower the night this happened? I didn't see him. My assistant, he saw him. We laughed. Said he was spooked by the cemetery. Perhaps it was already too late. I don't know what he did, but by morning the machine was on and we were slain. 
people were already on the streets. Complaining of neighbors and family members acting strangely. How can I help? Not your help I need. It's heritage, shrew. Squanders her research on frivolities. Then refuses to make herself useful. Runes. The runes are the last part of the puzzle. Ekantha knows them. She gives them to you, and you can turn the machine off. Release our souls. Wait. Runes? The Gwythin runes? She can read them? He speaks with his feet so blandly. Let's talk to instead of this harridan, Arutha Condoin. I pick her thoughts a time. She wasn't here the night the machine turn came on, staying with her patron somewhere near. Too good to be burdened with her ignorant company. You don't like the ghouls in the street. Not yet. But I will be. My body is dead. My soul, imprisoned in this corpse, only makes it seem otherwise. And as the body decays, so does the mind. Until nothing is left but the hunger. The only way to forestall the process is through a regular infusion of essence. Living flesh is the only ready supply. That sucks. I'm not proud of any of it. Hunting men and women in the early days of the affliction. Picking off soldiers that came to investigate. But I'd do it again. I'll do it as long as I must to end this disaster. You could help. Help me end this. Help me find sustenance. What happened to the rest of your team? By the time I realized what had happened, the district had already been sealed. So we fed when we needed, and locked ourselves in the tower to work. And then there came a time when the hunger struck, and there was hardly anyone left. I'll get the words from Incantha. Yes, Incantha. Incantha. She was here in the district, probably. Here still, always prepared. Clever lady, that one. And perhaps you'll bring me something. Something to keep me sharp. Then I show you a secret about the machine. Something to make you strong. This is an animator in his natural state, Watcher. Never has he respected the sanctity of the gods' creation. Only now. Only now he no longer has the cunning to hide it. She would be put down like a sick animal, although not without first putting a spirit to the flames test. I actually disagree with Durant on this one. I feel bad for this guy. He knows what's caused this. No, I'm not going to mess with it right now. And he knows that he might be able to stop it, and so he's willing to do monstrous things to prevent a lar to end a larger disaster. Eh. Is he a good person for it? No. Proceed to the bottom. I wouldn't say he's a good person, but I will say that he's sacrificed to try to prevent, to end this uh, problem. So, I can't rightly condemn him for that. Damn, I'm just thinking about it now, too. If I had gone to the Temple of Wodica first and got that information, managed to get in here and solve this problem, maybe I could have so, uh, saved those soldiers that were trapped by that uh, that spirit without having to kill everybody. Oh, that's going to that's gonna bother me later. That's what I get for sequence breaking, I suppose. I don't know. Um, if somebody has played this before that is watching, because I know a, f a few people are watching this, not a lot, but a few, but if anybody has the answer to that, I would be very interested in knowing. Now, let's see if it can't want to have words with us. You return. What if you come seeking this time? I need the words that operate the Gwythin machine in the tower. <laughs> that fool Aldhelm. He sent you, didn't he? 
I can hardly believe he's had the cleverness to survive. That simpleton thinks he can understand how to use something without understanding what it is, or why it is. I feel a hot core of pride smoldering at the center of her soul. <laughs> He dabbles with ancient and powerful devices, with all the finesse of a black. <coughs> he sends you here to petition me for aid after years of disparaging my research. I bet he didn't even tell you the tower's name, did he? That's his problem. Always looking for solutions without caring for me. Humble Alday now by demonstrating the power, the value of your research. My silence demonstrates it more succinctly. Your words fan the strange coals in the center of her soul. The problem in Heritage Hill are bigger than your rivalry in Cantha. Why do I care? I prepare myself for an eventuality such as this, and I can assure you that those dwindling souls in the streets are beyond caring as well. Tell me the tower's name. Ter Nuneth. It's called Ter Nuneth. They built a machine atop it to contain souls. Hold them in place. But the others I've seen Machines scattered all over the Deerwood are relays built to move souls. That's fucking weird. How do you operate the machine atop tier no width? Ugh, back to these tinker's concerns. And what would you do with these tethered souls if I told you? I'd release them. So you say. And just what would you release them to? They'd abandon their existence here for another somewhere else. Equally aimless and meaningless. I could help you, but I won't. The pride lodged in her soul flares up, twisting into the shape of something that writhes and squeals in her. Here I have specimens of plenty and time enough to observe them all. It's every scientist's dream. My answer is no. What? But what good is observing all this if you're going to hoard it for yourself? Tell her, Ruth Akondo, an entire language at your fingertips and she hides it away. Distinguish her pride. The vampire doesn't seem to notice as you wrap your mind around the squalling, burning mass. However, it sears your very bones. You jump back crying out in pain. I won't abandon this opportunity. The souls here remain here with me. I'll accomplish more than any answer in the history of the field. And who will know about it? The pride thing flickers as the flames around it abate. All I've learned. Years of studying the Inguithan language. No one understands it better than me. That counts for something. But what use is it? Her pride rages inside her. Uses? Why must something so pure be fashioned to a blunt instrument? Meaningless. Mean, knowledge is meaningless unless it's shared. Fo a foolish and false sentiment. Knowledge is meaning. It needs an external purpose. Her pride smolders still. Your opportunity is finite. One day that knowledge will die with you. You're wrong. I'll build it forever. I'll cling to it. It will give me something. Teach what you know. I'll make sure that it grows and your legacy lives on. Your words finally quench your pride and all that remains is a blackened diamond hard rock. You cast it away where it melts into the darkness. So be it. My studies and efforts shall grow through yours. These are the words you need. Her cold, dry fingertips rest on your temples and you feel her reaching into your mind, forming images from the darkness. Runes flash through your head, but they're no longer just pictures. They have meaning, and you understand them. They're commands. Something triggers in your mind, a distant memory unearthed from a past life long since buried. You can see a vast array of runes, far more than Encantha has shown you, and you know their sound and their meaning and how they fit together, the lineage of Ingwithin once more at your command. Something has awakened in your mind. You understand far more than I ever did. Take this knowledge, then, and do what you will with Ter Nuneth. Now that you understand its purpose, it will serve you in whatever way you wish. Speaker of dead tongues now, and he surpasses a hundred frustrated scholars in a matter of a few moments. I don't suppose you could look at a few books for me. What do I do with the tower now that I know these words? Turn it off, I expect. That will be easy now that you can read the runes. The vessels would still roam, but striking them down would return their essence to the cycle. But be careful. That machine controls hundreds of souls, and that volume of essence could easily overload it. Improperly channeling the essence would destroy the machine along with the souls. It would be a terrible loss for posterity. 
So if we destroy the souls, the energy will go back into the cycle of re rebirth. Okay. In the corner of his eye, Alok gives you a sly look. It seems your ravenous new friend has given us the key to ending this wretchedness for good. Now that we've seen what this machine is capable of, I do hope you're not squeamish about the loss of a few hundred souls. You said other towers around the Deerwood were constructed to move souls. Why would the Gwithans want to wanted to do that? Another mystery. Hypothetically, anywhere they they wished. The qu real question is, is as always, why? To intermix them the way a player shuffles his deck, the way a farmer rotates his fields, to collect them like butterflies under glass and melt them down for raw essence. Unfortunately, I do not know. I still don't understand why the Gwithans would want to build a machine that tethers souls. Perhaps they didn't. Perhaps why they built no other machines like this one. We now see the Gwithans as masters of, masters of soul manipulation. They couldn't have attained their expertise without copious trial and error. Perhaps this was one such experiment. How do you know so much about this? I read the runes like a journal. I understand their meaning. People like Aldhim try to read them like instruction manuals. In doing so, they miss their true meaning completely. Explain how the control words work. Harnessing the power of Tyr Nothwin... Noth... Now... No, oh, fucking shit. By understanding what it, is what it is designed to do. You know the words and their meaning. You can speak them and the tower shall obey. Thank you. Can I kill you now? Apparently not. That makes me sad. The right, reason I'm not pausing with these travel things is because I'm expecting something to try to jump out and say boo. I would actually be disappointed if it didn't. But interestingly enough, I wonder if I could actually absorb that soul energy and make myself stronger. I mean, that'd probably be an evil thing. And I've done so well not doing evil since we've started this, but... I may need all the power I can get if I'm going to get the guy who's responsible for everything. Honestly, it would have been really nice if they would have just given the option of going in the front door and saying, I want to go to the top of the tower. Although I'm sure this will give me the option. There we go. Proceed to the top. All right, let's talk real quick, old him. Aldhelm looks much worse than before. His rotting flesh hangs loosely and sores have eaten away patches of skin in his joints. He looks at you with a strange glimmer in his eyes. Flesh. Alright, I just added something. Let's take a look at this real quick. Deal with the machine. Jagged Audra pillar rises up in front of you, encased in stonework and run through with copper veins. The panel is now covered with runes, which you can now understand. You recognize the words for end and hold. The dial is currently fixed on hold. You're also recognized by an inscription that the manner in which you turn the dial is meant as a means of throttling the device. Maximize the machine is throttled in hopes of overloading the device. Muttering a command, you give the dial a violent twist. The moving spires spin faster and faster, wobbling on their axes. The light feeling the machine quickly becomes too bright to behold. You look away and cover your ears, but the thunderous crash that follows shakes the floor beneath you. When you look back, the machine is in ruins, never to be used again. you damn right. Seems like the right thing to do to me. Still and silent. It's finally over. Still huh. and silent. It's finally over. Interesting. I didn't think he'd be so understanding of the whole situation. Well, I'm not going to kill him if I don't have to. The reason I asked if doing things in a different sequence would change certain quest events is because I have not been reading anything on the wikis or 
different uh, forums or like Reddit, stuff like that. So I honestly don't know. And I would be curious to find out how that would have changed if I'd done things differently. I got my really cool cat. Black and white cat. It's a good kitty. Ah, here we go. Who are you? Dunred Road Messenger. Begging your pardon, I have a message for you. You're summoned to Hadrit House where Lady Webb wishes to meet with you as soon as possible. Not much you can do these parts without Lady Webb knowing about it. This was what I've always heard. Guess it's true. Do you know where to find me? Well, it's it's Lady Webb. She knows everything. Tell me about Lady Webb. Do you know Lady Webb? She's, well, no one's seen her exactly in a long time. She's the mistress of Dunred Row. Has been her as long as anyone can remember. She's supposed to be old, older than anyone, and she never leaves her room. Some she she's waste away, she's a pile of bones kept animated by dark magics. You're a horrible messenger. She's still at it, best as anyone can tell. Learning things, keeping us safe. Pulling the strings behind the throne, too, it said. As a ring of cipher is doing her bidding, telling her everything that goes on. You do wrong in this country before you go asking the gods for forgiveness? Best you ask Lady Webb first. What's Dunred Row? Whole mess of ciphers run out of Hadrid House. They make it their business to keep the peace, and they don't like you. But they don't like you to see them do it. Problems that say they have a way of going away on their own, and when that happens, you make a pretty good guess as to why. So where is it? In Brackenberry, my lord, southwest corner. You'll find the lady upstairs. Very well. All right. It's an odd turn of events, but all right. We have a way to our next level. We're gonna call it a part here. Looks like we have a new uh, new mystery that's about to unfold itself, and I wonder if it's connected to one of these other things here, because I've got... Uh, oh, that's part, I guess that's part of the main quest, then. Oh, I thought maybe it might have been connected to either the Man That Waits or the Death's Gate, but I suppose not. Well, folks, next episode we'll go talk to the Widow and see what's going on. Until then, I have been the War Boss Squee. I hope you enjoyed this, and please, like I said, if you know the answer to my questions, please leave a comment down below. Let me know the answer, or share this video with somebody who does know the answer. Says, I'd love to know, and I'm at this point very curious. Until then, peace.